Good afternoon. Welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. This is my blog. Uh, today I will show you uh, read write cookies in ESP dot net core. So I know this is the long video. I will show you, but I want to teach you about the cookies in this tutorial so first to make a controller a new controller in controller folder that is cookies controller in it I will design or you can say I will create a three action method and that is first one is refer to index second one is refer to read cookies and the write cookies third option but second option I will use the write cookies because in the write cookies I want to submit data of the control of, of the controls to the uh, text file so use HTTP post method now generate a view on index method without model here we have save your cookies add a drop down list by using select tag helper the name is cookie name actually uh, in HTML you know very well about the name attribute the name is referred to the ID of the control now the drop down list having uh, some items first one is username and second one is password I want to save username in text file also password okay now add a new text box control uh, first of all add a form with the ASP controller ASP action and the methods of the form control so ASP controller is cookies controller and the ASP action is called the right cookies and the method is post because I will post the data to the test text file or you can say save the data into this uh, text file so ASP controller is cookies controller and ASP action is write cookie okay that's fine now come to the next part is input type is text And the value is cookies cookie value oops a text box control having a name property because the value property is defined to the text of the text box or you can say label as a text box input type is submit button first of all add a checkbox control for the persistent of the state is persistent if it is true then save your cookie name as well as value so true is persistent
input type is submit add cookie ESP action is to read cookie actually for the hyperlink ESP controller is read cookie cookies controller actually read cookies okay that's fine now come to the write cookie part uh, in the write cookie option I want to save the cookie name as well as value so string the name of the cookie is cookie name and the string the value is referred to the text box so check value cookie value is string is cookie value and boolean type property is checkbox property that is is persistent okay now first of all check uh, the boolean type property is persistent is true then save your values now I want to save uh, cookies so we have a class cookie options to save your cookie into your text file and that is exist in asp.net core.http cookies is new cookie options cookies dot expire date time dot now dot add days after one day a cookie will automatically expire check your uh, checkbox state is persistent if it is not persistent the response dot is an object you know very well it, this is the same in uh, web form and the uh, asp.net core dot append and what cookie name cookie value and the cookie options and we have a cookie options is cookie oops actually it's not uh, write it for the is persistent it's not a cookie options remember that it's not a cookie options we have a cookie options is cookies so the third parameter is used to check the state of the to save cookies by using this options cookies that is the third cookie options now if it is not persistent then cookie options will not be stored into your text file and simply cookie name and the cookie value will be stored into the text file so response dot cookie dot add dot append cookie name and the cookie value this 
that's fine now in the reading cookie uh, I want to read cookie from the text file or you can say saved cookie return view index read cookie uh, if you want to show proper message by using a view bag object dot message cookie successfully added cookies add successfully save this inside index action method you can show your view back object at the right view back intellisense is not proper in visual studio 2017 15.2 versions actually so please microsoft do this in the view sections also view back dot message in the read cookie options first to get uh, the cookie key that is the cookie name and the cookie name is referred to the select list and select list we have two options that is username and the passwords so get the cookie by username and the password actually uh, on a, a simple text view back dot value cookie value is request dot cookies dot cookies and in a square bracket pass the string key that is username and that view back message simply display on a view on a view yeah that's it a written view is simply a another view so add a new view on the read cookie and save and display your view back message on the view add the read view back name of the view back dot okay now run this file first of all uh, in the startup dot cs file change your route value and the page is routing with the cookies controller So the first index method is call and list and the text box is display successfully and put in the name is Jacob and is persistent at cookie. I want to read cookies. Oops, it's not getting properly because username is not display on the screen. I want to set the password. Mr. Jacob persistent uh, after no it's not a retrieved cookie actually it's a problem in the retrieved cookie so again check in the read cookie 
we have a view bag dot cookie value and index dot csstml oh the request dot cookie and the username is small actually the value of the select list it's not a text actually in of the given options count the username as small yeah that's fine because the value is considered oops not getting there save your value first again no it's not properly working again check your code request dot cookie is username is save in the view bag dot cookie value oops the view bag is name is cookie value and the true string is convert to the true string actually the view bag object dot cookie value is cookie value but in the read cookie options we have view bag object is username it's not a username actually it's a cookie value so that is the big mistake so save and paste it here that is the view bag uh, dynamic variable and check your result sorry for this uh, read cookie yeah that one is there thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial please keep watching my all other video tutorials which is related to asp.net core and i'm missing if you like this video please share this video and uh, i request you please subscribe my channel please 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 subscribe my channel and i promise you i will provide you better video tutorial which is related to asp.net core asp.net mvc uh, web forms c sharps and many more things so thank you